So once you set up your ngrok on your docker the problem that you face next that you cannot use any kind of https request for example if you want to connect your uh, telegram or whatsapp they always want you to use https but uh, basically localhost don't run in https it will be http but there is a tunneling process uh, you can use to make it https and execute the workflow if we now want to use telegram you can see they're asking for https and in this video i'm going to show you how you you can uh, run https request locally using the tunneling process using ngrok and and this video will be details how you can run it so first of all let's stop our this docker and i will be creating new docker before that we need to install ngrok on our device so i am using here mac you can use it on windows or linux anywhere you want just open your terminal and now we'll go to ngrok website and this is our ngrok and from here you need to create a new account i'm going to use the register for free so once you create a new account you will come to this page this is the setup and installation process so first of all you can choose the platform you can just click here and choose what platform you are going to set up if, if you want you can set up it inside the grok or normally on your mac i am using mac here directly so now i'll just uh, copy the first prompt install view so just giving it because i i already have installed it so i i don't need but again i'm going to show you all for this tutorial purpose so what this ngrok do they basically run a proxy server on your pc through another port or another selected location uh, so you can run this kind of n8n or any kind of web tools through https and they will also give you a custom static domain that you can use for your local host so this is very useful and this is also free you can uh, use uh, completely free so our uh, download is completed now on the second step you need to activate the authorized uh, token so just copy it paste it here so authorized token saved on the next step you need to select this one static domain we are not going to use http or localhost we will use this one static domain so as you can see this is a static domain uh, they give us uh, we can use it to host our apps and there is a port number it's, the port number is 80 you can change it to different ports and you can use this domain as many as time you want so i'm just going to copy it and now i am going to run it here and one thing we need to remember here uh, let's say oh, where we are running our tools so we are running our n8n on this port 8989 this port so what we'll do now i'm just going to uh, create another port here so i'm going to paste this command and this uh, port number i will be changing this to let's say 7878 so this is our new port and this will be my domain for running this one so i'm going to click on enter so now as you can see it's successfully running and online so this is my domain name and this is my port 7878 now i need to create a new um, machine inside my docker for uh, running n8n and you need to set up this very carefully because if you don't give the correct details it will not work so i'm going to go my n8 and images click on play now you will see this optional settings from here you need to give the exact port that we are using 7878 that's it give a name so now once you define your port uh, you need to give some in variables here so as you can see this is our environment variables you can uh, add or more variables here so normally i will be using two basic variables one is webhook url and editor base url this two is most important uh, because if you give this two it will allow you to run through this https so once you give editor base url this and value will be this website address that we get from the ngrok this domain just put it here again the variable to webhook url 
this and the same value will be here now paste it now click on run so what it will do it will change the webhook url and your uh, port will be running through a https request so if now i am um, try to open this let's say i stop this one press command ctrl c from your mac it will be running like this so now i'm again going to run the same command in block https and running my in block https server here now i'm going i'm going to click on this running containers for n8n so this is you can see this is the domain name that we get and we are using the same port so first time you need to create a account here just suggest a new password next okay okay so you need to activate your license uh, you can use a temporary email or your personal email as you want so just get a new license key for this I'm going to use this email let's say paste send me a free license I'm going to get the license from here copy the license key go to settings and from here you need to enter activation key paste it activate that's it so now if uh, we I try to run some HTTPS request and let's check if it's working or not. So I'm closing this and this. Now I'm going to run my Telegram. Okay, on messages. So now you can see our webhook URLs is on HTTPS and our this custom domain and now it's totally fine to run any kind of HTTPS SQL like you can use your uh, Gmail your telegram trigger whatsapp trigger everything will be run fine here so I'm going to create a new trigger let's say here that's it save now you can see my connection is successful and if I try to execute my telegram you can see it's listening to event and if I send a message from my mobile now hi now you can see I send a text from my phone. Hi, it is receiving the command from my Telegram bot. So this is the way how you can set up HTTPS on your locally hosted N8N and run any kind of HTTPS request through Ngrok. I hope this video helped those who are facing problem to running this kind of bots or tools. So if you like my video and want some more customized video for uh get some help please let me know in the comment section and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i'll see you guys on the next video